there, travelers. I'm Judd Kobler, game director for Last Epoch, and today I'm excited to bring you the highlights of the latest upcoming early access patch, Rising Flames 0.9.1, oh, releasing May 25th. It's Rising today. Flames introduces a fully reimagined first chapter of Last Epoch. You, the traveler, find yourself tasked to protect an organization known as the Keepers. It's today. This mysterious group is rumored to work for the goddess of Terra herself as sworn protectors of her most sacred artifact, the Epoch. Amidst a relentless assault from Raya's army, the protection of the Epoch is under threat, as Raya has learned of this artifact's near limitless potential to manipulate both time and space. Atera's past, as well as its future, hangs in the balance. You'll meet a whole host of formidable new enemies across new zones in your attempt to prevent Raya's army from obtaining this sacred mechanics, device dude. and learn about the secrets of the Keepers new along bosses. the way. We hope you enjoy this new chapter, which lays the groundwork for the events to come in last. Wait, is this while I'm leveling, or is it is it past the end game? Like, is it at the beginning to end, or is it at the end and beyond? You understand what I'm saying? Like, it you know, if I if there was this time, this is the start of the game. This is like max level, and this is like end game. Is it like is it does it start like here, or does it start here? So it's at the beginning, right? The beginning. The first X. It's like, so it's here. Okay, so, okay, so I want to, okay, so, I, okay. Epoch's campaign. Rising Flames comes with a host of features to improve the multiplayer experience. Now when you enter towns, you'll find other random travelers from the server who you can interact with and oh, form shit. parties. Oh, shit. You'll be able to show off your awesome loot to other travelers in-game via item linking. You can link items in chat by control right-clicking an item with the oh, dialog shit. box open. Also, you can now select your server region before you enter the game on your character. Ladders have been re-added and redesigned for multiplayer, including the ability to rank on the leaderboards in different team sizes, modes, and classes. Damn. Now that Last Epoch is online and server authoritative, Yo, take notes, ladders will D4, showcase those take that have notes. legitimately become the best of the best Ladder combatants in, the game. in Terra's arena. We have With additional multiple functionality filters. for interactions coming to towns and parties before 1.0. We hope these improvements greatly add to your experience when forming parties and interacting with individuals in Atera. Rising Flames introduces many new unique items, including a brand new type of unique item called Weaver Uniques. Weaver Uniques are a new type of unique that upgrade to legendaries in a different way. Instead of dropping with 0 to 4 legendary potential, they drop with between 5 and 28 Weaver's Will. When an item has Weaver's Will, while you kill enemies, the Weaver, a mysterious entity coming to later but cycles you can't of Last Epoch. Right? It just slowly random. rebuilds the item by adding random mods and then Ran upgrading yeah. them with higher tiers, with the potential to go all the way up to tier 7. Each tier Big of an deck. affix added consumes one Weaver's Will. These Weaver Uniques can all drop during the campaign, so they can gain power with you as you progress. However, ones that drop at higher levels will have more Weaver's Will on average. I'll show off one new normal unique item and then two Weaver's items. I mean, that sounds kind of cool. Apostate Sanctuary is a potentially very powerful amulet that adds a harsh penalty for direct spell casting. What builds can you make that exclude direct spell cast to take advantage of the large defensive bonuses of this item? Our first Weaver unique is Cradle of the Erased, uh, a unique shield field, that gains up to four stacks, increasing your block chance over time, making it great for blocking occasional hits. Its starting block effectiveness is low, but you can stack Do more resistance this time around, as you progress through the game. And there's always a chance the Weaver gives it a block effectiveness affix too. Trying to figure out what I want to play. Knowledge of an erased mage, one of five unique Weaver relics. With this mm. unique, keeping your mana low by using high cost skills or damage dealt to mana allows you to take better advantage of your endurance. Like the other class specific Weaver relics, this has a bonus. Okay, endurance applies to five additional health per uh, ten missing mana. Oh shit! I was an endurance main. I like endurance. You means you don't need super high HP values and you get good damage reduction. Chance to gain level of skill affixes, so those won't be as rare as when they're on regular relics. And there's even a chance of getting a skill ahead. up to five levels. Happy hunting, and we can't wait to see what powerful items the Weaver has in store for you. In patch 0.9.1, we're also introducing an early version of the cosmetic shop, where you oh, can purchase shit. visual items for your characters. Many of you will already have Epoch points to spin from your early support of Last Epoch. Yo, that's while me! the inventory for the cosmetic shop is limited with the early access release, we're excited to expand the offerings and see our supporters look incredibly cool with skins for armor, skills, non-combat... See how this is that footnote on the end of it? And, you know, like, and not, like, the main content? See how, see, see, you know, see what I'm saying? See, this is what you call good marketing, right? Where you put this as a footnote at the end, not... 
Stor, 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 stor. Battle pass, battle pass, stor, 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 stor. Oh yeah, like couple QA, couple questions. Stor, battle pass, battle, yeah. About pets and more. You'll encounter many new enemies with the release of Rising Flames. 13 new enemies have been added to fill the ranks Boom. of Raye's army, and new and exciting wildlife can be found. We've also updated the models for Reaper form, forged weapons, and all wolves and bears across the Terra, ah, including the, the Primalist, Summon Bear, and Summon Wolf. Additionally, we've updated over 70 I almost of the game unique just weapons for the dog to have fantastic new 3D models. 0.9.1 Rising Flames continues the mission of updates, fixes, and increasing the overall quality of Last Epoch before our large upcoming 1.0 release later this year. We hope you enjoy the latest, and as always, we'll see you in a Terra. Okay. Oh shit, brother. Oh shit, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not like a character rework, so it's not like I want to just do the same build or anything. So I kind of want to, I probably should do something that's different. But then it's like, at the same time, we do have the new dog animations. We do have, the new dog animations are a thing, aren't they, chat? Then again, I haven't played Paladin. I, the reason I don't want to play Paladin is because everyone was playing Paladin. It made me like not want to play it because it's just like too many rules. Because he is God Gamer. God Gamer. God Gamer. God, 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 God Gamer.